Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So today's video, we're going to discuss FC Garf and her suggested team comms. But for that, if you want an updated Exos Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button. It's actually down there below. Okay, so we have here FC Garf. Um, for me, I have been just a background of uh, how long I have used uh, Wasted Red, probably three months four months or five months i don't remember um i have been jumping from one nation to another starting with greenland and i went to stories then i actually ended up with wasted red because again um wasted red faction is a mix of offense defense support they're all around so to discuss um fc garf right now um let's actually go to um actually a video up there in terms of her new buff it's actually going to be up there i'm just gonna post a video there um you can check it out later in terms of the new buffs that she has but in today's video i'm going to discuss a couple of suggested team comps that you can use especially for pvp or even for pve okay so i'm now at master three let's let's go through some of the team comps that i have here um Let's reset this. Actually, this is my 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 what they call this my offensive team for what they call this for wasted red. So Garf is here, but I'll reset this. I'll start from um, a team that if you really want to pursue, you could actually have a team comp mostly or all of them wasted red. So we're going to have Garf in the front. We're going to have Annie, Redley. Maggie and the other one would be Jean. So I've tested this out, this team. Um, I used it in one of my tag matches and they are actually good. They're complete in terms of what you need. Um, in terms of um, buffs, they're going to maximize your buffs because of the nation buffs or signature force. So if you're going to go with this team, be my guest. This is actually a great team to bring you have you're you're complete there with uh, uh, Jean, who can actually give bigger damage to barrier to 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 heroes with barriers, and almost most of the core cast is actually there. So next would be in my suggested team would fall on a synergy between um, Greenland. So um, in any synergy with Greenland, you, the core should be there. So the, your core would be, again, FC Garf, FC Redley, of course. So the two of them are your core if you want to mix and match with um, with other nations. Um, another member, if you want to add, would be would be Annie, I would suggest. But if you pair the, 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 the two as your core for Wasted Red, for Greenland, you're going to use... Um, let's change the formation a bit. Going to use Talia, Bathory, and Rera. Oops. Okay. So, if you want to have a synergy between Greenland, I think this is your most uh, optimized team. This is actually pretty much very hard to kill already. Um, if you want to swap out and put in Schmidt, you can actually take out Talia, change your formation and put in Schmidt here. So two from Greenland, two from Wasted Red, and Schmidt will be there. So this is actually another option. Synergy with the Greenland and the splash of FC Schmidt. Okay, our next would be for Astoris Republic. Again, the, the your core would be Rudley, um, Garf. Then you have their um if you want to more or less have a sorry my mistake one two three four and change formation let's add shell okay so this one this team i actually am good as well this is actually one of my pet projects um i'm actually finished with signature force for for wasted red also finished with um 
with the uh, vagabond the next signature force that i'm going to 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 finish up would be storage republic and this is actually the the formation that you have to go after because again um you can't you can't go wrong with 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 uh, with adams Janai, and shell for your main stories then complement them with wasted red again if you want to if you want to bring in schmid you can actually swap out Adams for Schmidt. So this is actually another option as well. So let's move on to the next one. Would be Lenombe. Again, Core of Redley and Garf. Then you go with... I'm sorry, but um, my Lenombe team actually sucks. It hasn't been built yet. Um, so you have their April... You have um, Rachel, and the other one would be Zeon. Okay, so this one is actually a good lineup as well. You can actually replace um, uh, if you really want um, Schmidt again as part of your team. You can actually replace Zeon with with what they call this with Schmidt. So th this is actually my recommendation for Lenombe if you want to bring Lenombe. But again, um, I would actually prefer that you bring Zeon for this one. Zeon actually brings more to more to Lenombe if you have a splash of Wasted Red with your Lenombe team. So where's Zeon? Zeon, where are you? There you go. So... Again, recommend recommended um, team um, if you splash wasted red with your Linombe team. Okay, let's go back to what I'm bringing. Actually, let's go back to my main team. So my main team for defense, um, we're actually here already in team B. So this is my main team for defense. Um, uh, I have here Garf. Uh, Ramji, Rudley, Schmidt, and Talia. Uh, sorry, and um, and Maggie. So more or less, this team I put on defense. If I'm not playing to more more of a defensive, you know, defensive unit, more on more on playing it uh, safe. Um, uh, my liability here is just Ramji, but again, he, I think he can hold his own even if you know you, I have I don't have a high enough signature force. But this team is actually good for defense in terms of leaving them to defend your record to for a defensive wins. From my experience, they're better than my offensive team. My offensive team again. I'll go back to what I showed you guys earlier. So. So this is it, my offensive team. So Garf, um, Garf, Maggie, Annie, Schmidt, and Redley. So the way I play this, guys, is in terms of manual. I would usually take out first, um, first guards because of their barrier. So that is actually the main concern. Or take out key, um, what they call the soft or key units like FC Iris or FC Talia. Again, um, this team has surgical precision in terms of taking out heroes. You have silence for Annie. You have silence for Redley. Then you have um, Master's Footsteps for Schmid. For, for, for Garf here, Garf actually plays a big role in protecting the party. Additional health, um, health and defense and shared health and with the buff that he's going to bring um defense team would would know would would be better and the offense team would have more survivability um because based on my experience if i'm a on a head-to-head -head match with a greenland team it's more difficult to take that down than a linombe team because for linombe what i usually do if if i have a matchup is i take out um fcz on first uh, because FC Schmidt is actually very fast. So S2 kill FC Zion and the rest is actually soft enough. But for Greenland, I have to really pick my poison. Either I take out FC Iris or FC Talia. So let's actually have a sample match for PvP. Okay, sample match for PvP. Win or lose. Um, 
I'll have to accept it. But I'll show you guys on how I play my my PvP team um, with Garf in it. Um, my main PvP team right now. I used to have um, I used to carry FC Iris with me, but now I you know I I don't have her with the team because I found out that I need more firepower or either firepower or defense. So again, I have here um, Lenombe, so I I'd like to take out Zion so that I could eliminate um, Dragon Scale and have a you know a a better time finishing off the others. So again, very good critical hits from Schmidt. So again, if you could if you could see Zion's out, then I could have an easier time taking care of the rest. So have have single hits. So again, um, the key in defeating Ninombe would be taking out Zion. Because if you if Zion is there and for example you you hit him with an AoE, um, you're going to have a problem in terms of um, you know uh, penetrating that shield. So I silenced um, I silenced the enemy Schmid because um, so that he will be limited to um, his regular attacks, not his S1. So it's actually valuable because I don't want my team to be affected all by Master's footsteps. So he silenced twice and he's gonna die in a while. So let's have this one so that I could have AoE damage for Annie. Um without Xeon, you don't you won't have really a problem of shields triggering. So Next, um, let's have let's silence uh, let's silence April so that she can cast uh, her S one or S two. Then try S two for Maggie. Maggie is actually crucial here because she provides shield also for your party or for your team. So more or less, she will be your finisher. Let's not get rid of her so that she won't give uh, HP to the remaining team. Let's take them out first and let's uh, endure a beating from Baraka. Okay, both of them are already angry, <laughs> Baraka and uh, Rachel. But again, um, the key is going to be Zeon. Eliminating Zeon would be, well... April died, so I don't have a choice. So let's go with S2 for FC Rachel to try to eliminate eliminate him as soon as possible. So regular hits, not critical, but I think this is this would be enough to take him out. And what is left is Baraka. So he might be invisible in the wild. So let's try to use Rudley's S2 to try to finish him off or at least half of his life. So down to let's see if he's gone. So he's gone. And that is it, guys. Um, that is how you play a team with Garf um, and with um, Wasted Red as your primary most of them are your primary units so in this team i only have um schmidt in the mix four of them are with race in red so again guys um if you have any questions on team compositions with garf you can actually put your questions down below ask me anything team compositions what are you know what are your what um current teams if you want to join our discord server please do a link is in the description for an in-depth discussion and at least we could you know have screenshots there share screenshots of your team also guys for those who haven't subscribed yet please do around 80 percent of my viewers haven't subscribed yet and if you subscribe this helps my channel i'm actually near a thousand subscribers so again it's a race to 1000 Hopefully in a month's time or in, in two, I could reach 1,000 subscribers. So you guys will be helping me very, very much if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys, again, stay safe. 
Good luck in your pulls tomorrow for FC Garf. I'm sure most of you will be pulling for FC Garf. And take care. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.